Welcome everyone to Storm Crow's Ghostly Tales. Today we are in Edinburgh and the part that we are standing at is Johnston Terrace which runs down the side of the castle. Now we are going to go to an area that's not often seen by the members of the public, especially in photos. It's part of Victoria Terrace. Now the normal part of Victoria Terrace overlooks to Victoria Street and that's what you see in all the photos on Instagram and Facebook and such like. But we're going to the far end of Victoria Terrace. Here in Victoria Terrace lived a gentleman by the name of Angus Roy. Now, Angus Roy was a merchant seaman. When he was young, he always dreamed of adventure and dreamed of countries far away and he was hoping that he would be able to visit them. So as he grew up around the docks at Leith, he became aware that certain ships would hire people on and take them all over the world. So eventually he joined one ship as a merchant seaman. He travelled all the way over to Denmark on his first voyage. He loved getting off the ship in Denmark and looking around the countryside. Eventually he got back onto the ship and they reset sail back for Leith. Now he was asked to climb up the rigging all the way up to the crow's nest. As he was climbing the rigging, the ship hit a freak wave in the North Sea and it sent the ship corkscrewing. The result was Angus Roy lost his footing and fell all the way down onto the deck. The way that he landed severely damaged one of his legs to such an extent that he was unable to use it in the correct manner and it would just be a sort of dead thing at the bottom crawling along beside him. Now, he couldn't stay on the ship with one severely damaged leg. So when they got into the harbour at Leith, the captain had to let him go. He decided to make his way up into Edinburgh and slowly climbed from Leith all the way up into the hill, up into Edinburgh itself. When he got there, he was able to find a cheap flat to rent here on Victoria Terrace. And he decided to go looking for work, which he duly did. He was able to find work as a sweeper in one of the local taverns. But in certain cases, people mock those with a disability, which they shouldn't really do, but hey-ho, they do. So in this case, he was mocked because of the disability with his leg. And people used to make fun of him as he actually walked from his flat to the pub, none more so than the children around the neighbourhood. Now the actual slagging off of him got so bad that eventually he gave up his job and started begging. But again, it was relentless on the slagging of what he had actually got wrong with him, his leg. The children used to walk behind him, dragging their own legs across the pavement as he had to drag his. Eventually he became a recluse and stayed in his flat. The only time he would leave the flat is to go and buy alcohol. Now the kids being the kids that they are, they played a game locally known as Chap Door Running Away. Now in this case they would chap the door, wait until he got to the door, make fun of him and then quickly scamper out of the road of his grasp. This eventually became a dare and they were dared to spend longer and longer at the door and closer and closer to the gentleman in question, Angus Roy. 
eventually it became too much and Angus Roy being so tormented by this that he was taken to actually standing at the door trying to catch them. Now one day a young boy was told to go up to the door, knock the door so he could get into the local street urchin gang. In doing so, Angus Roy heard him. Before the young boy could knock, Angus Roy threw open the door, stepped outside and made a grab for the young boy. The young boy ducked out of the way turned back to make fun of him and Angus Roy was virtually upon him in doing so. He stepped back, Angus Roy took one step forward and the young boy slipped and fell over the railings all the way down into Victoria Street below, which is a drop of around 30 feet to the ground. The young boy, not being as lucky as Angus Roy was, died on impact. Angus Roy felt such remorse about this that he returned into his flat, got a rope, threw it over the gaslight that was outside, tied the rope tight and hung himself. Today his ghost can still be heard making its way along Victoria Terrace. You will often hear the sound of grunts and moans. You will often hear the sound of someone dragging their legs behind them.